Hello everybody, welcome back to another video here on the MapVidPro AI YouTube channel. The AI video space has been popping lately, honestly it's been popping for this whole year, and there's always new stuff to talk about. So I figured we'd run down and talk about some of the coolest things happening in the AI video space. First, let's start off with WAN 2.2 Animate. Why they didn't call this WANimate? I can't tell you, I think that'd be a way better name, but this one is open source and incredibly impressive at taking original movement from footage and transplanting it onto a new character from a reference. Near Scion on X here posted a pretty great side-by-side -side comparison, so let's take a look. Rick Sorkin? Excuse me, Mr. Sorkin, you are five minutes late. Is there a reason why I should let you in? Look, look, I, look, I'm just trying to ditch the cops, okay? I, I don't really care if you let me in or not. Mr. Spectre will be right with you. That's pretty crazy. What? Can I get you anything? A coffee or a bottle of water? Looking side by side, you can see the movement is about perfect. And it keeps the character very, very consistent, even adjusting to the lighting. The wardrobe changes are realistic. It really just swaps the character almost perfectly. And keep in mind, this is actually all open source. There are already comfy UI workflows floating around for this one. And if you have a gaming computer with a beefy enough GPU, let's say, you could definitely run this at home on your own rig for free. I think sometimes this character looks a little bit plasticky with the facial movements and the lip syncing is isn't perfect, especially because this is more like a medium shot and not an ultra close-up. But hey, I mean, it's it's good enough, right? Here's this one from the Sonic movie. And then here's some 3D animation. That re this one really blew my mind. I have to know. Anime? It's all pretty crazy. Free open source Wanimate. Like, I think you could just take this image right here, this still, and you could convince me that that's a real screenshot from the original movie. Even though this obviously fits and looks better, I think the believability is absolutely there with this. Don't worry though, I've got plenty more community examples. Ilka Riggs here on X shows off this example. It does a really great job with the shadows, the lighting, and completely changing not only the person, but also the clothes, while totally preserving the background almost perfectly. I honestly think that you could show someone this original video, and they wouldn't be able to tell that it's not the original. Think about what the AI has to deal with when creating something like this. It has to fully capture just the movie movement of the character and the clothing and reapply it to a whole new person with a whole new set of clothing on top of a scene that was already there. There might be some loss in sharpness overall, and will it be as perfect as if you shot it originally? I guess not, but the real question is, can you really even tell at the end of the day? The only dead giveaway is that it doesn't fully remove this lace. Some more impressive fighting scenes from movies brought to us by Mr. Abu Joe on X. You can see we have swapped in Sam Altman, and he is about to become the martial arts master. It's pretty you good. Motherfuckers will be playing A little hallucinating. In Pelican Bay when I get finished with you. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! <laughs> Pretty incredible. Yeah, like I said, there is going to be some screwing up. I do think it's still a very impressive job. But, like, at the end here, you can see we've got a floating piece of the nunchuck, and it looks kind of weird. Not like the original. This one, the lip syncing was definitely a little bit difficult. It's easy and obvious for us to tell, but I think the AI is struggling a little bit, maybe because of the goatee and the darker lighting in this scene overall. It definitely makes Sam Altman look like he's really there, but the lip syncing leaves a little bit to be desired. This one is awesome. Not much to say. Before we dive into the rest of the AI video progress, I've got a quick word from today's sponsor. Hit a weird bug while developing? Don't re-record, don't send a novel to chat GPT, just jam it. Jam makes bug reporting with AI simple and effective. Click instant replay and Jam grabs exactly what happened. Plus, all the nerdy bits devs or your AI coding model actually need. Jam AI writes the ticket for you. 
title, description, exact repro steps, and it's all timestamped. All you have to do is press accept. You get one shareable link with console logs, network requests, browser OS viewport, the works. And even better, if you or your team live in Jira, Linear, GitHub, Jam files the issue there with one click. If you're ready to move past bug fixing and get back to building, Jam is the way to go. Try Jam free at the link down below. The free plan includes AI tickets, and there's a 14-day free trial of unlimited Jam. File bugs in seconds. Your team will thank you, and your future self will too. Welcome back, folks. You might have also heard that Kling 2.5 Turbo was released, and folks say it's a strong, competitive model. It's 35 seconds for 5 seconds of video on Fall AI. Definitely not the cheapest thing in the world, but I think the cost is low enough for various companies to use the API as a part of their product stack. People will get real value out of this model for sure. This generation by Tom Likes Robots is pretty impressive. For a turbo model that costs 35 cents per gen, the 1080p is really 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 nice and this looks and feels real the audio is obviously generated on top that's not native audio from the model the detail is pretty darn incredible in this little kitchen here's another example from cling 2.5 turbo from the fall website two mustangs in a drag race you can see it does a decent job handling this overall definitely a pretty awesome shot and the cars are decently stable. Once they get into the distance, though, they get a little bit more mushified. I'm going to run a prompt through Fall AI right now. It's a photo of me as a wizard, and I'm going to cast a spell. Since this is a turbo model, we'll see how fast it's able to generate. Okay, it took about a minute, but the result is pretty awesome and speaks for itself. Definitely pretty high quality at following prompts, and you can see I conjure a beautiful ready-to-eat lemon with my staff. It seems stable and it looks pretty effective. Here is some raw text to video for a noble walking through the village. You can see again, high quality, high resolution, looks like a real dude. It seems like a pretty stable video model at a reasonable price for the quality you can expect. It looks like Kling is actually holding a 2.5 turbo creation contest right now. So these should be plenty of fun generations to check out. Okay. <laughs> Elephant into a pool. I feel like the splash would be even bigger. <laughs> That's awesome though. You can see the understanding of physics in the world is pretty strong. Does it compete with Minimax? Eh, there's a little bit of hallucination there. You can see the backflip was quite good, but there's a little bit of mutation and growths happening in the middle. Here's a sloth doing a backflip. Okay, again, a little bit of morphing towards the end there with this turbo model, but it's pretty good. The detail is great. The sound gen isn't terrible. I know it's not native sound gen. It's a separate model doing it, but at least they're including it now default on the Kling AI interface. A gorilla doing ice skating. <laughs> I love the piano music in the background. Pretty great. Okay, this is pretty epic. The slow motion. Sound effects are a little strange on this one, but it goes around the whole character pretty well. I would say that this is absolutely an impressive generation to come out of this model. It's definitely a turbo model. It doesn't seem as smart as the biggest, baddest ones, but of course you're getting faster generation speed and still very, very detailed and high quality imagery. That quick gen speed combined with the broad understanding and high fidelity definitely makes for a good candidate to just slap images into and see what it does with them. Way better than like holding on X to create a video with Grok, right? This level of fidelity is at a whole different level. I have no idea how this trampoline is supporting an entire T-Rex. Okay, this looks pretty sick. He's recording a TikTok, don't worry about it. Autobots, let's go viral. Wow. I'm telling you, look at all those little dust particles. I think Kling has always had the best oh. resolution, even on their turbo models. Some 2D animation. Oh. 
Now, funny enough, Kling's not the only company releasing a 2.5 model when 2.5 preview is out. Hopefully, this will become fully open source just like Wanimate. Keep in mind, this new WAN model, we can assume it's not a turbo like that last Kling 2.5 turbo model. This might cost more to generate and might take more time to generate, but the quality, oh my we gosh. Use words like honor, code, loyalty. We use these words as the backbone of a life spent defending something. You use them as a punchline. We Incredible. WAN 2.5 has some pretty big claims though. Seamless audio visual syncing, richer video dynamics meaning better understanding of motion, cameras, and the world as a whole. This one also does up to 1080p. They claim more accurate text, instruction-based editing, and visual reasoning. All right, let's actually try that same exact prompt and generation with WAN 2.5. Keep in mind, when you make a brand new account here on the WAN website, you can generate for free, it seems. Like if I wanted to send another gen through, oh no, it won't let me do it. I think we have to wait for this one to complete and then it'll let you do another one. I have a feeling this is going to take a little bit more time though. All AI is also supporting WAN 2.5 preview though, both image to video and text to video. Yeah, the fidelity on this one looks extremely good, just like Kling 2.5, but as you can see, it absolutely costs more, 50 cents for a 720p video. WANimate is right in a similar price range at 15 cents per video second for for 720p, so everything we're looking at today is really in a similar price range. The WAN series of models do have a great track record of actually being open sourced to the community and making a huge impact and contribution, not only with WAN 2.2 Animate, WANimate, like we're talking about today, but with all of their previous WAN iterations. Yeah, 2.5 is currently still in preview, so it's not open sourced yet, but I believe once it's out of preview, they'll let the community have at it, and that is a very big difference between WAN and Kling. Yes, Kling does offer their API from day one. It is a little bit cheaper than 2.5 preview right now, but once this generation finishes, we'll get a good idea of how they compare. This wait time is absurd. Okay, I have about had it waiting for this to generate, so we're going to run it through the API on fall. Oh my god, you've got to be joking. In queue, position 153. Is everyone trying to use WAN 2.5 preview right now? How did my position in the queue increase? What is going on? I don't know, guys. The more and more I look around X, it seems like every new company, Higgsfield or Veed.io, is now offering this new WAN 2.5 preview model. It seems to be very capable and a impressive model for sure, but... I can't generate with it right now, not on their official website, not even on Fall AI. If the generations come through by the time I'm ready to upload this video, I'll put them at the end here. If not though, check my Twitter and Discord because I'll put them on those two platforms. Thanks everyone for watching though, what do you guys think? Obviously I think everybody loves the idea of Wanimate, it's open source, it's really high quality, you can actually use it, WAN 2.5 preview looks good, but I can't use it right now. Kling, on the other hand, isn't open source, but very much usable. Impressive quality and good prompt following. So yeah, what's your go-to AI video workflow right now? Let me know. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.